Today's video is brought to you by Courtney and Amari. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, today's video is going to be on breastfeeding cons nobody talks about. And I'm going to be telling you guys um, how I felt um, for the breastfeeding cons because I do um, believe you should breastfeed your child if you are able to not i'm not condemning anybody who doesn't but i want to talk about the breastfeeding cons nobody talks about because i see that people are always you know trying to push other people to breastfeed when they don't even know their circumstances and i want to you know share how i felt breastfeeding because you know some other women may feel the same you way know, Nobody ever really talks about it. All right, so I got some notes here. I also asked my cousin um, like some questions as well, like what's the main thing that she struggles with. Um, with and she says trying to use the bathroom. And like, honestly, I can totally relate. Like, <laughs> let me tell you something. When I would try to use the bathroom, it doesn't matter if you're trying to do number one, number two, take a shower, wash your hair. Like, that time has to be expedited. Like, for real. Um, I remember one time when Amari was a little, little baby. I don't even think she was a month old yet. And I was trying to, you know, take a bath or a shower. And... <laughs> Her daddy opened the door and he like put her little head through the door and he was like, I hungry. And it's like, <laughs> like, why? <laughs> but it's, but it's true. It's like, they need you 24 seven to breastfeed. And it's like, within that first couple of months, have time to pump milk for somebody else to you know hold the baby while you get some free time to yourself um the most free time i probably got was probably like five to ten minutes but it's totally not her daddy's fault because he had to work 12 hours i know he's tired too i'm tired with being with the baby all day so it's just like nobody said like nobody told me like nobody told me the road would be easy but for real like nobody told me that breastfeeding was going to be like this like nobody nobody told me she was going to be attached to me like my rib can y'all hush can y'all hear that anyways um <laughs> Nobody told me it was going to be like that. Nobody told me that I was going to have to breastfeed nonstop. I could barely remember when my mom was breastfeeding my sister because I was in school. I would go to school all day. So I wouldn't think in my mind that, you know, my sister was all up on my mama all day. I didn't think of that. And Amari was like, always wanted to nurse. She wanted to nurse so she wouldn't cry. She wanted to nurse just so she could go to sleep. She wanted to nurse just because. And nobody said anything. Nobody. Amari sneaking downstairs while I'm trying to film this video. Rude. No. Also, another thing that I struggle with is cooking. Like, I couldn't really cook as much as I wanted to because I always had her, like, on me. And I would be, like, starving. <laughs> I would be, like, starving to her daddy got there and was like, can you please? cutting me up some apples he probably was like really Courtney you've been here all day and I've been slaving in the hot sun and you want me to cut you some apples but I'm like your baby been all up on me like come get her <laughs> but you know I used to be like low-key starving but I would always drink water because that was like the easiest thing to do when breastfeeding a child. No, y'all, washing clothes was hard. Keeping the house clean was hard because she would poop all the time, trying to keep her clothes clean. Just keeping the house clean in general was a struggle. Like, I would almost, 
I can't even say almost like I would cry all the time also because I had postpartum depression but I would cry all the time because I was like this I can't keep up with anything like I can't keep up with anything and you know her dad can only do but so much if he's working 12 hours so he's got to sleep at least eight hours you know what I'm saying so that leaves him four hours to what take a shower um, get his hair cut, do whatever. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, the time wasn't there. Why does it sound like Amari's FaceTiming somebody? I hope she's not FaceTiming somebody. Be right back. You guys, so the um iPhone died that she was using, I was trying to use it to stall her. It's okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's hard. No, you can't get any milk. Ooh. <laughs> she did that on camera. But you guys, yeah, it's it's hard. <laughs> Um, when you're breastfeeding, I just want to let you know before, if you're looking forward to breastfeeding now, I do encourage you to still breastfeed if you have the opportunity, you know, mm -hmm. if you have the opportunity to breastfeed, I recommend that you still go through with it. Um, it's rewarding in the end, you know, but my child she's attached to my hip still so and she's two she's two so yeah right you want to tell them bye say bye bye she don't like goodbyes oh kiss can i kiss this hand <laughs> 